Hey guys, it's Nathaniel here. I'm a mood coach for Mood SA. You know, we we are in this thing called lockdown at the moment, and uh, it's so easy to concentrate on the bad that we actually forget that we actually have this gift called time. Um, a lot of us have been in the lie of being too busy, and now you've actually gotten some time um, to get to some of the things that you actually need to get to. Um, one of the things that I want to just talk to you about today is um, how are you loving yourself? Um, before you can love other people, you need to know how to love yourself. And before you can actually love, really get to the nitty gritty of loving yourself, there's some, there's probably um, some things that you and I need to deal with um, before we can really get to a place of loving ourselves. And I'm talking about healing. Some of us are hurting from past issues. Some of us are hurting because of things that other people might have done to us that we might have had no control over. Um, and we are still trying to heal from those things. And now is the perfect time just to sit down and to say, you know, what is it that I need to heal from before I can go out to love somebody else or to help somebody else? And I just want to share four practical things with you guys that I think could be very helpful um, to your healing process. Um, number one, I would say it's very helpful to, to start journaling, to start writing things down. Take a pen and a paper or a scrapbook and just start writing down as much as you, of your feelings and emotions and just get it out on paper. And then, very important, read it back to yourself. Because when you actually read it back to yourself, you're taking time to internalize and to process what you've written down. Something that's very, very powerful. Um, step number two, um, whatever you've written down, share it with somebody that you feel comfortable sharing it with. Um, and you, this might be a mentor, somebody that's older than you, um, that's walked life a little bit longer than you have, and might have actually gone through the same things that you've gone through. Um, share those things. Um, there's power in sharing. Um, it helps you break out of that prison of the past. Uh, tip number three. Um, guys, I know that they say um, that it's not manly to cry, but cry. cry. Crying is a good way of healing the soul, letting go of the old, um, letting the old come out and just releasing it um, so that the good can come in, the new can come in. And then um, I want to end it off with something more fun. Um, tip number four would be learn a new skill in this time. Learn a new skill, enjoy that skill, be creative within that skill. Um, this is Nathaniel, I'm out, I love you guys and hopefully I get to see you guys soon.